Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture on nominal and true stress strain. What is nominal stress? The nominal stress also called engineering stress is the stress calculated based on the net cross section of a specimen without considering the effect of geometric discontinuities such as holes, grooves, fillets, etc. It defines the material's strength mathematically. Nominal stress is the the ratio between applied load to original cross section area. Observe this picture and you can understand it clearly about the nominal stress. Next, true stress. The stress is calculated on the basis of the actual cross section of the specimen. After the application of load, the object cross section will vary. Therefore true stress also will vary. Defines the strength of the material after neck formation due to the load. Mathematically, true stress is the ratio between applied load to actual cross section area. Let us see in detail. True stress strain curve values will not be equal to the engineering stress strain curve. Due to the rapid reduction of cross section area of testing specimens after neck formation in engineering stress strain, this reduction area will not be considered. Engineering stress is always less than the true stress in tension load. The actual cross section is always less than the initial cross section. After the formation of the neck in the test specimen, the cross section area will be reduced. When a tensile force is applied, engineering strain is always more than the true stress strain curve. That's why the engineering stress strain curve deviates from the true stress strain curve, as shown in figure. Let us compare the nominal stress and engineering stress. In nominal stress, the initial cross section area will be considered. In instantaneous stress, core and cross section area will be considered. In nominal stress, stress is the ratio between applied load to initial cross section area. In true stress, stress is the ratio between applied load to instantaneous cross section area. In nominal stress, the strain is the ratio between change in length to initial length. In true stress, the strain is the ratio between len off change in length to initial length. We can convert the nominal stress to true stress and true stress to nominal stress. Let us solve a problem. The question is, the plate as shown in the figure has a hole of radius 10 millimeters. Width of the plate 100 mm, thickness 10 mm. A tensile load of 900 N was applied at both ends. Find the nominal stress. See this picture. A plate having a hole, and the load is applied at both ends. This is the formula. The load is 900 N, divided by, active cross section area by subtracting the whole area. Introduced stress is, 11.25 megapascals. Thanks for reading. Thank you.